Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. I can't wait to show you the Epiphone Emily Wolf White Wolf today. I've seen the Emily Wolf in that beautiful black gloss finish before. This is a new finish. They call it the White Wolf. It's kind of a matte white. It looks stunningly beautiful with the Trini Lopez style diamond cuts on a Sheridan and a whole lot more that I'll tell you about. I'll pull this guitar apart on the bench and of course I'll plug it in and play it. <laughs> And at the top, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, click to buy using our link because it does support our channel. You get fast free shipping and easy payment plans. It makes buying new gear super easy. Now, one of my favorite things about playing music is also discovering new music, but I'll be honest with you, I hadn't heard Emily Wolf's music. And when I did a deep dive for recording this demo, the first thing I did after I heard of just a few songs was go see where she's playing on tour. And luckily she's playing at the Cobra Lounge in Chicago on August 5th. I'm hoping to be there because I'm telling you, if you've not heard Emily Wolf's music, this power trio is unbelievably awesome. Killer guitar, has great melodies and a great voice. Super excited to uncover the music of Emily Wolf. And one more thing, we are giving away a Gibson Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top. All you gotta do is sign up via Gleam. All the entry information is in our description and also make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Let's get to work on the White Wolf. I'm super pumped about this one. Quick peek at the included case. This is the Epi Light case. I recommend getting a hard shell case, but it does come with this at the very least to protect the guitar. Let's check out what's inside the case. All right, here it is. Emily Wolf's White Wolf from Epiphone. Price tag of $899 USD with that included Epi Light. Uh, sort of hard shell case. And uh, this is a beautiful white matte finish. Look at this brushed gold uh, finish on these El Nico Classic Pro pickups. Probably my favorite pickups from Epiphone. El Nico Classic Pro, these sound fantastic. Actual mother of pearl block inlays with abalone lightning bolts, which look really sharp. So let's head over the bench and pull it apart. So at its core, this is a Sheridan. Starting up at the top of the headstock, you've got that awesome mother of pearl Vine of Life with Epiphone logo. And get a close look at these Grovers because it really has this matte gold, and I just love that. You got Emily's signature, Wolf kind of artwork here on the back, slim neck. It's really gonna be kind of a satin playing experience in terms of the finish. It's not gloss, it's more of a matte satin. And a nice binding, it's got the Sheridan touch, just like we saw in the Sheridan uh, Pro 2 uh, with these kind of pinstripes on a laurel board. 1.68 inches at the nut, 0 0.79 inches at the first, and 0 0.87 inches at the 12th, a classic 60s slim taper C shape for this neck. It is a semi-hollow guitar, so you do have a maple center block. Laminated maple comes in at 1.76 inches. Flipping up these El Nico Classic Pro humbuckers. You can also get a look at the maple center block and then also that neck tenon that you can see sticking out underneath that factory tag there. And we'll go ahead and flip on that multimeter and get a reading. Bridge reads 7.8, neck is 7.5, 3.8 combined, and then volume, volume, tone. I love it, simple. Sheridan White Wolf coming in at eight pounds, 10 ounces, so we'll call it uh, 8.6 pounds. In terms of the neck feel, Slim neck, you can definitely feel it. Nice ring to the guitar, always the beauty of a you know semi-hollow guitar, it's semi-acoustic, you can play it on the couch, it rings nice and loud. And I also really am a fan of satin finishes. So satin is just a nice playing experience and I'm also a fan of Indian Laurel in terms of uh, the fretboard material. I prefer it over Pau Ferro and uh, the Indian Laurel board feels nice. Everything factory setup wise is perfect. I don't have anything that I see that I need to adjust. So at this point, the fun part, we're gonna plug it in. Remember, if you're buying any gear, click to buy using our link. It really does help us. At this point, I'll get plugged in. I'll show you clean tones. I'll dirty it up and then I'll put it behind a track and let it sing. Remember to stick around to the end. I'll give you a final score along with my raw reactions and uh, tell you if this guitar is worth your money. Let's get plugged in and have some fun.
right, the Emily Wolf White Wolf. You stuck around to the end, I'm gonna give you my final score. I base that on three main categories, overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. I'll tell you what I loved, what maybe I wasn't crazy about, and let's kick it off with playability. The only things that really detract in my eyes uh, from playability is gonna be the weight. I've noticed lately that the Epiphone Semi Hollows, they are a little bit heavier and they do pull on my back. After playing this one for even a short while, I feel it in my back for sure. Um, so that's one thing to consider. The other one is that while I love the look of the matte finish across the guitar, and I am a fan of satin in terms of the playing experience, this has kind of like what I describe as a semi-gloss satin that's a little bit sticky. I found myself sticking to this guitar. Also inexplicably, I can't quite pinpoint it, but Laurel, which I'm usually a fan of, felt a little bit sticky too. So I guess sticky would be the word that would kind of pull a few points away from playability. Moving on to overall sound, I am an absolute fan of the El Nico Classic Pro pickups. They're probably my favorite pickups from Epiphone. And the pair of these, especially covered in this kind of matte gold finish, are absolutely beautiful. So I think the sounds I would give very high score to. And then in terms of overall value, I would definitely give high marks. It comes with the EpiLite case. And also at $899, it's far less than something um, that you'll see out of Epiphone lately that's been pushing the $12 to $13 to $1,400 range. So I think it does represent a great value at $899. If I had to give a score to each of those categories, overall playability, I'd give it an 8.0. Overall sound, I'd give it a 9.2. And overall value, I would give it a 9.2 as well. And that's gonna bring our overall score for the Emily Wolf White Wolf to 8.8. .8. I would definitely recommend this guitar if you're looking for an affordable semi-hollow guitar with looks to kill. Um, but I would recommend the guitar overall. I'd also have you check out the Epiphone Sheridan 2 Pro if you want more switching options. And also check out the newly redesigned Sheridan with their Frequencator tailpiece and the mini humbuckers. As you shop, compare kind of all three of those and we have demos for all of those, so check those out. Remember, if you're in the market for this guitar or any new gear, when you click to buy using our link, it really does support our channel, so thank you very much. You can check out one of these demos, be in it to win it with our Les Paul Gold Top giveaway, and we'll see you on the next demo. Thanks for hanging out on Play and Trade Guitars. Uh -huh.